আসসালামু আলাইকুম ওয়েলকাম টু এ নিউ প্রেজেন্টেশন অন স্যাম্পল সাইজ ক্যালকুলেশন টুডে আই এম গোয়িং টু ডিসকাস अबाउट স্যাম্পল সাইজ ক্যালকুলেশন ফ্রম হাইপোথিসিস টেস্টিং কম্পেয়ার বিটুইন টু প্রপোশন জেনারেলি উই ইউজ ফর আর সি টি দ্যাট मींस উই ডিসকাস বেসড অন রেন্ডমাইজ কন্ট্রোল ট্রায়াল basically for hypothesis testing we use this type of sample size calculation uh, based on alternative hypothesis we use two side test or one side test this is for two side test and this is for one side test for two two side test just we use alpha by 2 in this formula and for one side test just we use just alpha that means alpha by 2 this formula based on two side test if we use one side test then just we use only alpha and let's go uh, ms excel we use ms excel to calculate sample size practically this is sample size calculated formula where p1 the expected proportion of outcome from group 1 p2 is the proportion expected outcome from outcome for control group for example p1 is intervention group and p2 is the control group we need to uh, calculate sample size expected proportion from p1 expectation proportion from p, uh, sorry expected expected proportion from group 1 expected proportion from group 2 and difference between group 1 and group 2 is the effect size for example in this information uh, effect size effect size is equal to b of that means 20 percentage point we also need level of significant alpha that means generally we use five percent that means 0 0.05 power uh, assume the power is 80 percent therefore the alpha value corresponding level of significant is 1.96 if we use one side test then just we use only alpha this is alpha by 2 and if we use one side there's just alpha then the value is the value 1.64 but if we use two side test then we have to divided by 2 that means alpha divided by 2 then the uh, corresponding z value is 1.96 and the z beta value corresponding to power is 0 0.84 that means based on 80 percent power so the sample size for example is equal to z alpha plus z beta that means z alpha means this value plus this value and square into P1, P1 means into 1 minus P1, that means 
one minus P one. plus P2, P2 into one minus one minus one minus P2. Then then divided by p1 minus p2 square That means this is the sample size per one group. Then similarly, we can use sample size for second group. That means this is the equal. And sample size for both group is N1 plus N2. Just, just N1 plus N2. Since Sample size always integer, therefore, okay. And for clinical trial, uh, we need attrition, for example, 5%, 10%, attrition, attrition, for example, for example, 10%, 10%. Then total sample size, total sample size is equal to, uh, Gonito one plus ten. This is the final sample size after considering attrition. This is two sided sample size. That means we use alpha divided by two. If we, if we use one-sided, then just, then just, only alpha. Only alpha. And corresponding the Z value, this is, Divide by two, not it's just only alpha. For one side test, the Z value corresponding level of signal now 1.64 for one sided test. Then the sample size is 155. Using this procedure, we can easily calculate sample size for clinical trial or compare between two proportion easily. Thank you so much.